Welcome to another Unity tutorial guys. Um, in this video I want to go through a resource collection system. We're going to use this texture here, I've got a bunch of uh, coin textures here front and the back, to um, we're going to create a coin of these textures and allow my little character dude here to collect them when he runs into them. So this um, this uh, system is probably going to be split into a few videos, maybe two or three because uh, there's quite a lot of stuff to deal with. Um, I'm just using my simple well, I call it my test scene. Right? Um, it's just a simple scene to test different code I I, uh, I do. So as you can see, I can just control my little character here. Um, so we're going to go into Maya. We're going to create our coin, um, texture map it, bring it into Unity, and set up the coin and uh, deal with scaling and stuff. By the way, guys, when I made this little scene, I didn't deal with scaling, so the <laughs> the coin might be rather small, rather big, depending on how I set it up. But um, We'll talk about scaling and stuff as well. So let's hop into Maya. Now on the scaling issue guys, I'm just going to hop into the preferences and go to my settings settings and I'm going to change this to meters. So save this out. And um I'll tell you why in a bit. I'm just going to create my coin first. So we're going to um oh, maybe not. We're going to create our uh cylinder, bring it into a coin kind of coin shape. Um rotate let's rotate the y ninety degree oh maybe not the x even and um that do um it's gonna be quite small guys so uh just let's scale it down a bit and um we wanna put a material on here so let's uh assign a new material uh let's drag this out a bit Lambert, let's do with a simple Lambert, simple Lambert guys and uh, with the color I'm going to hop into the attributes and um, let's choose a file so let's look for the file now in my um, collect resources that's the one um, I've got a texture, my coin texture in my unity project, let's open it up and by the way guys if you want to view the texture in the scene um, <coughs> just click this button here sorry and uh, there you go, it's textured. So how do we put each side of the coin on this on this uh, object? Well, we need to hop into our ed UV editor. Let's just go into our channel box. Um, edit UVs, UV text editor, guys, and there we go. And you can't see our, um, our uh, vertices very well, but uh, I promise you they're there. So what we can do is we can select one and then um, right click uh, select and select shell alright guys so we selected the shell and now we can move it into place so this is one side of the coin um, I'm just going to select this again select select shell um, this is the side of the coin so I'm just going to make this really thin and just put it here I'm not right about the side guys we won't see it we won't see the side this very much in our game so I'm just concentrating on these both these sides here alright so uh, this is our other side so I'm just going to put it in the middle of one side of the coin Oops. scale it up a bit now I don't know if these textures are to scale so I don't know if they're a perfect circle guys so just edit it as you want uh, let's do this one uh, line it up alright guys so now by the way, this texture is 256 by 256 pixels, so it's not the most detailed texture in the world, but it's going to be rather small in our game, so uh, the user won't really notice the difference, guys. So here we go. We've used our texture in our Unity editor. We've applied it to our simple uh, sphere uh, cylinder, sorry, and um, as you can see, we can see both sides of the coin. Now this one's upside. Looks might be upside down, guys. I'm not sure. Um, all the wrong, wrong way around, but um, and it's this one I think. Oops, sorry guys. UV. So remember, select the UVs, and um, let's try and swap it around if we can. And I haven't selected all the vertices. Try again. Let's do our little trick again. Select, select shell. All right, and let's invert it a little bit. And uh, I'll just go into an object mode frame up on it and that looks a bit better I think alright guys so we've made our we've made our coin looks pretty good um, 
I might make it a bit smaller actually because I don't want it to be too big. It needs to be big enough so the user can see it obviously so yeah I think that'll do. It looks pretty nice. So um, anyway. Alright guys let's export this now. Let's select it. Um, let's export all actually. It's nothing else in the scene. All right. So let's go to our, our project. Let's go in our models folder. Let's call it coin. And uh, we're going to export this as an FBX. So when we go to the FBX, we can uh, configure a bunch of options here. Now I'm just going to collapse these. Oh, maybe not. Um, advanced options, units. I'm going to turn off automatic, guys. I'm going to centimeters. All right. So as you can see, the scale factor is 100. <laughs> but when we import it into Unity, it's going to it's going to conform to the same scale. So that's that's how I deal with Maya guys in Unity. So let's go and export all. Now it's exported. Let's hop into Unity, and um, our coin should be in our. There we go. Here we are. So it's just a basic, a <laughs> very basic object, guys, and we've just stuck our texture on top of it. So let's drag it into our scene, and it hasn't came out too bad actually. It's pretty, pretty much to scale, I reckon. Um, actually, it's rather small, so I want it to be quite big, so it's easy for the character to run into it. So let's make it a bit bigger. Oh, don't want to save it. I want to export it. So let's go and export all. Oops, export selection. Let's go and export all, and uh, let's just overwrite this. Remember centimeters, all right, guys. So export. I want to replace it, and there we go. It's a bit bigger now. All right. I tend to deal with scaling in Maya rather than doing it in Unity, it's just to conform easier if I want to edit it. So uh, yeah, I think this would be the right size, guys. So um, this is our coin. Um, the last thing I want to let's rotate it a bit before I continue. I can see it now. Um, the last thing I want to do in this video, guys, is make it a bit more coin-like. Um, let's make a new material and let's call it coin. I don't know. And I'm going to just change it to a, um, if my laptop loads, <laughs> a uh, specular. We, if this is more detailed, it would look good if it was bumped, actually. A nice little uh, bump in the, in the elephant. So uh, our main colour is a bit of a grey. Um, our specular colour is going to shine a bit, so let's make it a bit lighter. And um, let's put our coin. Oops, sorry. Let's put our coin texture on top of this. Let's drag it onto our coin, and as you can see, that worked. Let's just up the shininess a bit. So, and um, that's it, guys. So we've, we've put a bit of shininess on our coin. <laughs> um, let's make it a bit lighter. Alright, so now our coin will be a bit shiny when the light interacts with it. Okay, let's actually make a component. Let's put a uh, let's put a point light in the scene just to show you guys. And as you can see, the it's kind of shiny. There you go. The light's reflecting off it in a nice way to make it more coin-like. So <laughs> this is our coin, guys. In the next video, I'm probably going to wrap a collide around it, code out. The collision. So when my little character collides with the object, it will it will disappear or delete itself. Um, we might fire off a little particle effect to show that we've collected it, and we're going to make a little counter in the corner. All right, guys. So that's where I'm going with this. A lot of games use this, and um, it's a really effective way, a nice uh, dynamic in your game to collect resources and stuff. So just to show you guys, I walk just walk straight through it at the moment. All right, so that's that. So in the next video, I'm gonna. I'm going to set up the coin, I'm going to make it interactive and uh, we'll go from there. Alright guys, so thanks for watching this video.